What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Gamer Duo here, welcoming you back to another episode of the Saga Lock. <laughs> One, first things first, I'm going to formally apologize for the content of today's episode. I had to do what I had to do, and I'm not going to say that it's a respectable strategy. But my strategy is sound, so I'm sorry. But I had to, okay? I have a list of Pokemon that I cannot face with this strategy. And a specific type that I should not be facing with this strategy. But, welcome to the team. Welcome to the Elite Four. Rebel Wilson, the... Drillbur. Yes, we did not evolve said Drillbur, which I think is crazy enough as is, but, well, yeah. Is this the Pokemon you expect me to add? Probably. Am I taking advantage of a situation? Probably. But it's fine, guys. We're just chilling, you know. We, you, we, we farm, I, I, I recorded early. We farmed. We got some Lepa Berries. We found a Choice Scarf with Frisk before our Friskmon died. We have a strategy. We have something in place. And we're going to do this, okay? We're going to make this work. We're going to Alola, okay? We're going to Alola. I cannot accept not going to Alola, okay? I just can't. At this point, we have to get to Alola. Alola is a checkpoint. It's checkpoint or bust at this point. We are either going to Alola and securing the next checkpoint, or we're going back to Sinnoh. And your boy does not want to go back to Sinnoh when I'm this close to Alola in the next checkpoint, okay? So let's go through the team recap, as you guys are going to be killing half of these team members, or the game well, one or the other, I don't really know. But half of this team is going to be gone, regardless of if it's you guys or if it is the game. So let's go ahead and start out with our boy, Choi, our boy toy with Foul Play, Sky Uppercut, Waterfall, and Sacred Fire. Honestly, like the moveset. Expert Belt because having a varied moveset and just in case we need to use it for like our uh, dreaded, some dreaded typings. 196 speed, that's quite a lot. Um, so hopefully, like I said, hopefully we're fine, but we'll find out. Next, we have Magic Level 80 with Pickpocket as an ability. Aqua Tail, Blaze Kick, Fly, and Diamond Storm. Not bad. Then we have Terry with Thunder, Eerie Impulse, Shockwave, and Rock Blast. Hopefully, Terry's essentialities uh, are perfect for this situation. Terry is level 79 um, and has 115 base speed, and his speed stats 231. Why is that important, you may ask? Well, we'll get there. Next, we have Beagers with Overgrow as an ability. Strength, Surf, Rock Smash, Arrow Blast. Love you, Beagers. And I hope you, you, I have a feeling, are going to continue on. I think you're a Pokemon that people enjoy and are going to enjoy watching you use. So, lucky you. Next, we have Satan, our shiny Garatina. With Shadow Ball, Diamond Storm, Dragon Pulse, and Psycho Cut. Honestly, you've probably been the most interesting. And I'll be curious to see what happens. And finally, last but not least. Rebel Wilson. With Thousand Arrows, Thunder Fang, Fissure, Bone Rush, No Guard. Again, you may ask yourself. Why is it important that I said that 231 speed was our Raikou with 115 base special or uh, speed? Well, that is because when I trained up Rebel, I trained him up with the Power Anklet. I IV trained, or EV trained, not IV trained. I EV trained. Something that I don't do usually because I don't usually see the reason or the benefit for it. Using the power anklet to gain speed 
with a choice scarf are speeds that is 200 and 60 roundabouts because you gain 86 to that number so 258 I mean, 260 roundabouts. Right that uh, literally 258. We are well faster than Raikou, and we can outspeed Pokemon that are about 145 base speed. There's only a few Pokemon that even hit that category, and even then, they're Pokemon we couldn't take on anyway. We have quite the fight ahead of us. But in, co uh, uh, in continuing in accordance to our preparation and status, we have Lumpa Berries now. Yes, I actually went in this week and planted and maintained some Lepa Berries. We had found one and we were lucky to find one. We turned that one into eight. It was a 72 hour process. So... Because 16 times 4, 74. 74 hour process. Um, or 64 hours. I, You know what? Fine. It's whatever. You know, I wasn't on top of it. It was probably more 72 hours. <sighs> yes. We had four cycles of it. And we got eight out of it. Some of our cycles included multiple berries, which is why we have eight. So, it was... It was something... And I'm excited for it. We'll find out what we can do with our eight Lepa Berries. We learned it took 16 hours to make Lepa Berries. And I was like, okay, we have the berry fields. If we get an encounter there, we get an encounter there. But it doesn't really matter. So there's no reason to show it. And then we got Oran Berries for going over there. Because apparently you get five Oran Berries. And you can plant Oran Berries if you want to. But I didn't care about Oran Berries. I didn't care about any other berry except for this very important berry. So, we have that. And we have our lead Pokemon... I'm sorry, but it has to be done. And I think this is the only way that we can realistically make it through the Elite Four. I'm too... I'm too scared otherwise. I mean, and, and if, in all honesty, if you look at it that way, if we're that scared of it otherwise, that means that this is going to be a dogfight. And that that's exciting, right? A dog fight. I, I and obviously as you see Mag why why is Magicite there? Magicite was there because we had to take off the Magicite to keep pickpocket and to actually pickpocket the choice scarf. Um so yeah. We are not gonna use the lucky egg. And our lead is going to be Rubble. If Rubble somehow dies. Which I could see as a very very big plausibility. But we have 99 super potions just in the case. Or uh not super potions. Full restores just in the case. Um but I'm assuming that this sector, this this next 15 to 20 minutes that you guys are gonna be watching me just kind of stewing over what bonds you want to keep. That is what I would recommend you guys do with these next 20 minutes. What mons are you intending to keep? What mons are you guys wanting to send to Alola? I am very confident in this strategy. And maybe I shouldn't be. Who knows? But, I mean, guaranteed Oko moves. Five of them. I really, I, I just have to select what mon I decide to bring over. Right? What mons, um, or uh, not what mons I decide to bring over. What mon I decide not to Oko. Because there will be one Mon that I literally cannot Oko in each fight. I brought more than enough Lepa Berries. I bought eight of them. Or, I brought eight of them, not bought. I brought eight of them. I farmed them, so. But yeah. This is, this is, this is your intense thinking group moment. We're going to the Flood Chamber first. Um... And part of the reason why I just am walking in there is because I don't know what chamber's what, to be honest. So, unlike in the other ones, I just 
uh, every other game, I know what's coming, like, what's what the thing is. So, whew, I'm nervous. I'm nerve-wracked, guys. I straight up don't know what we're going to do or what to do, but... Signbold, how are you? We have a strategy, and I hope it works. That's all That's all I got to say. We got a strategy that I hope works out really well, and that this becomes press A Simulator because of it. I would not mind that. You there, young man. I have a question that I must pose to you. Do you think Pokemon battling can ever be worthy of being called an art? Yes. Yes, I do. Actually. Indeed. You see, cooking this type of art disappears as soon as it's completed. Pokemon battles are the same. Even memories of sweet victory soon fade as the battle ends. To devote yourself entirely to such a life made up of fleeting experiences, that's truly awful. I mean, it's not when I have a plan to completely just wreck this entirely for, so it's fine. Signable leads with Rotom. Be fan, be fan, be fan. It's French. Okay. I, I was hoping it was fan because I didn't have to do anything. But lead, this is a good lead for me. Like, re irregardless. But we are going to Fissure. I'm going to try and take it out immediately. Watch this plan. Let's get Nyx immediately. I could have I could have seen that coming. It would have been like, Levitate Blizzard. Bye. And I would have been like, well, shiz. But it's fine. Okay. But yeah. So here's the thing. As long as I click Fissure first and I'm not a dumb. Uh, why am I getting boosted experience? Experience. What? Did I did I say I got boosted experience? Did I accidentally get the lucky egg? Oh no! That's right. I I I, I was training with lucky egg. Obviously, duh. I well, once I reached the 252 EVs in speed, I and at that point because I was so low level, I didn't catch it or didn't think about it. Um, because I am a not fully evolved Pokemon, I get boosted experience. Duh. There we go. That's what it is. I was like, why the hell are we getting boosted experience? Excuse me? Hello? Yeah, it's like a lucky egg within a lucky egg, so. But yeah, once I, I, so I was so used to that, but I was like, why am I getting it now? Because I took the lucky egg off. It wasn't the lucky egg. It was the freaking, the boosted experience from not being fully evolved, John. Good job. Uh <sighs> Well, well, we'll take out the Nick. It's Nick or nothing. But yeah, good to know. Good to know. Because I was dumb and was like, Boozer experience? What? Vaporeon. How do I want to go about this? I'm going to stay in. I'm going to Oko this thing. I might regret risking this, though. I'm sorry for doing this. Oh, there you go. Yes. 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 Um, I don't have an ice type, though. But this, so, the, okay. But this is what we're hoping for. Stuff like this. Like a flying type or something that I know that I can't hit. That's perfect. That is wonderful. Um... I am going to go ahead. We don't have ice. I'm going to go ahead and go into Terry. Terry resists flying. Dragon's going to be a problem, but Dragon's going to be a problem regardless. Come on out here, Terry. Oh, also, the plan on Drillbur, so that I can talk about the plan a little bit. I'm plan on evolving Drillbur at the last possible moment. Oh, this is the ace. Let me go to near impulse first. I think that's the safe, the safer bat, because I could be getting Dracoed on or something stupid, and I can totally see that happening. War of time. Yes, yes. Why did we crit immediately? The very first move that we had a possibility of hitting, we decided to crit. Excuse me. Bruh, bruh. Murder this thing for that. We hit twice. And you wonder why I'm employing the strategy that I'm employing. Wow! It's almost like I knew I was going to get butt fadoongled. And I was going to just need to do this. Wow! It's almost like I had planned for John Luck's stupidity. And guaranteed my way to victory. Because that's the only way I can win this right now. Oh, Dragon Rush. It missed. Okay, cool. 
Gosh, I, I knew it too. I'm like, I need to guarantee my victory. I cannot go back to Sinnoh, okay? I, no, I love Sinnoh, I, and I'm doing Sinnoh for something else right now that you guys will see in a little bit. But no, absolutely frick not am I doing that, okay? No. Oh, yeah, we have Rocky Helmet. <laughs> Sandstorm's gonna kill that then. Cool. And then we can switch back to strategy. Unless we get another flying type, which I don't really necessarily mind. Oh, mining? Oh, we're fine. We are solid. Rebel! Honestly, I'm so heated by that, I gotta take off my sweatshirt. Jeez, I got super heated, but I mean, hey. It makes sense that I get heated by something that dumb. It's like, of course we're gonna start with that dumbness. Of course. Because why not start with stupidity? You know? Ugh. Whatever. Oh! Also, you might be wondering why I don't have the experience share on. And I don't have the experience share on for the sake of level integrity. Because the ace of this is 78. So we went to 80. We went to 80, because the ace is 78. Uh, all these trainers are going to have an ace of 74, as you saw. But 78 is going to be Cynthia. I'm thinking Sinnoh you know, too much. Diantha's ace. And so that's why I wanted to keep level integrity. So that's what I did. Um, and that's why I went to 80, because... I mean, I could have done 76, blah. But, but with the game being the way that the game had been, and we had talked about it, I was going to extend my level cap... Um, by a couple levels. I did. So instead of going to 76, I went to 80. Um, and honestly, 76 was kind of low for what I was doing. So instead, to compensate for my higher levels, I... So to compensate for the higher levels, I turned off the experience share, which in, realistically, I would have hit 78, so it's a two-level difference. Not not really that much, to be, to be completely frank. Um... Also, yeah, so, I feel, this feels gross. It really does. I'll be 100%. I'll be the first one to say. What I'm doing feels gross. But what I'm doing is really out of necessity and out of luck, okay? I, we got lucky to have this thing in the very, in the first place. And you know what? If we didn't have it, I really don't know where we would have gone. But. I have a feeling I know where I would have gone, and it would probably have been Mace, to be honest. I'll be 100%. I'll be 100 it was probably Mace. If we didn't have a no-guard freaking Drover, which, again, it, it could... Who, uh, who knows? It could be no-guard going to the next generation, and Exeter Drill could have no-guard, and then and it's like, oh, okay, well, let's run through then. Oh, I can't go in there. Why? Oh. It's down these four, too. Okay. Well, I don't know who's... The, is this the dragon one? No. I went. I saw both men first. Okay. You know what? I just have an instinct for men, okay? You guys know that already. It's fine. I'm, like, nervous, but not nervous. I'm nervous that something's gonna go wrong because of how I'm just like scalping this essentially. I'm like, let me just go ahead and fissure everything, and then yes, yeah, so, like something is destined and bound to go wrong. There's no way that there's nothing goes wrong. Weavile. Oh, you're fast. I don't think you're faster than I am, but. This is the Mon that I'm going to decide not to Fissure. I just can't risk, because Weavile is going to hit hard. Oh, two turn move. Okay. Whatever. I guess I guess, I guess we're going to do that. Oh, I could have Sky Forgetted, but it's fine. And Free Shock's going to do nothing. It's going to be like 50 points of damage, maybe. Wow, I did a lot more than I thought. And it paralyzed. And we're about to be paralyzed. No, we're not. Okay, good. I was going to say, and we're about to be parried because of course we are, because why not? Oh, great. You lived on one. I am so fucking happy that I did it. 
Oh my god, I actually made the play. Oh! If I would have hit it with the Oko, Focus Dash would have popped, and I would have been bopped. Holy crap! I am so glad. I knew something was gonna wrong. I listened to my instincts and actually worked out. Let's go! Oh, oh my god. Oh, I listened to my instincts. This is what you're supposed to do, but I don't do it like ever. And it Oh my god. Oh my god. I listened to myself and it worked out. Continue to do that. Oh. Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh my god. And I got freaking bot. Okay, whatever. It's fine. I don't have a focus sash anymore. Crunch. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Crit and Troy's dead, probably? No. Crit would have killed Troy, though. <sighs> wow, dude. Oh, my God. How clutch could that have been? Landris. I can't even use uh, our strategy. Okay. So, apparently, we're not going to be able to use our strategy for this fight. Which, I mean, okay. An actual real Elite Four fight. I'm fine with that, because Wickstrom is going to pin me to wall and dominate me, but it's fine. Um, It would be in Wick Wickstrom's nature, so I'm not surprised in the slightest by this, but... Whew, okay. We got this, Wickstrom. We have a real fight. It feels good. This is how it's supposed to be. Not the scummy way that I'm doing it, but... It's fine. It's, oh, it's okay. You're going to just die, and, and it doesn't matter. Oh, my God. You lived on one, two. You're going to kill yourself with Brave Bird, though. So, I mean, okay. Go ahead. Go do that. Wow. Can we stop being in crit death range, please? That would be appreciated. Uh, Raikou is next. Uh, yeah, so remember about being faster than a Raikou? Yeah, I love being faster than a Raikou. We can actually use our strat now. Okay. It makes sense for me to send out Raikou. This man's got another flying type up his sleeve, I think. Which is fine, because we have an extra fissure, actually. We're okay, because there is there is an extra one that I can utilize. Oof. Oh, that was actually a real fight for a second. Hit him on top. That's fine. Even if you have priority, I don't really care. Because top hit him on top is not really that great. No priority. Cool. Ace is out of the way. Two more. Wobbuffet. I have an easy way to deal with you, Wobbuffet. Bye. Have a great day, Wobbuffet. Watch it be. Watch it have Sturdy. Wait, no, Sturdy would. Doesn't Sturdy block Oko moves in general? Like I can't hit Oko moves. So Sturdy is something I need to worry about. Levitate Sturdy flying type. Swalot. We're fine. Levitate, sturdy, wa levitate, sturdy, fly. There's no inner innards out, so don't have to worry about that, which is great. Next generation, this that's another thing that you have to worry about with this strategy, but th this strategy is not carrying on to the next generation, so it's fine. Um, we got fourteen thousand dollars for that fight. No, 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 rebel. Rebel, no rebel, no rebel, not allowed rebel. At the champion fight, you can do that rebel, but not right now, not right now, buddy, not right now. We love you, but not now. That fight did 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 do some damage, but. I am so glad I listened to my instincts, though. Because I'm just thinking about that. Imagine if I didn't listen to my instincts there. And I said, eh, it's fine. I'll still hit you with the freaking uh, thing. And then I just got free shocked into oblivion. You know how upset I would have been if I lost Rebel to that? Because, I, I, cause again, I had felt that, right? I had felt that weird vibe of get him out, get him out, get him out. I can't be I can't be happier with myself there. Like, again, you have to trust your instincts. You have to trust your gut. You do, 
Troll has taught me that well, apparently. I've been trying to do that better. I've been trying to be like, this is what my gut says. I'm going to follow through. I'm not going to think about it. Just do what my gut says. Follow my brain or follow my gut, not my brain. Uh, follow my heart, not my brain. Um, Because the brain can get you in a lot of trouble by overthinking. I know that. I do that all the time. So thank you, Troll. Troll basically inadvertently saved the life of Drummer. So thank you. Um, <laughs> oh, goodness. Hello to you. Welcome in. Come in. You must be a strong trainer. Yes, indeed. That is wonderful news. If facing opponents like you and your team will make my Pokemon grow like weeds, even if I'm going to get fissured into oblivion, but it's fine. Uh, yas. Dude, imagine. No, no, no. No, no, no. I can imagine, like, in the real life Pokemon League, where it would be like, you're not allowed to do. Oh, gee, Dino. You're not allowed to do that, buddy. Oh, God. It's, this is actually not good for me, though. Like, this is a Bane. This is actually a Bane Pokemon. Oh, I told Charizard. This is one of the Bane Pokemon. This Aerodactyl. And, oh, crap. Um, Terry. Um, it's your time to shine, buddy. Uh, it is actually Terry's time to shine. Uh, Terry is the most... Terry's the most equipped for this, I think. Because, I mean, Satan can do things, but Satan can't hit this thing. I need to... <sighs> no. I, I cannot believe these words are coming out of my mouth right now. But Terry is important for the water and flying types. So I can easily bop into those. But Satan and Beegers are kind of like the nose. If I were to have to get rid of either of them, it'd be Satan and Beegers right now. Beegers could die, so I don't want to risk Beegers. So I think Satan, this is Satan's job, but if Satan dies, it doesn't matter? Ew! Those words coming out of my mouth for the shiny Garatina, that just sounds so horrifically wrong! Also, Terry would have been just fine, but whatever. It's okay. I'm making a judgment call. Jeez. Okay. Uh, I'll Diamond Storm. Hopefully. I, it's super effective, so hopefully I will get the, either the kill. <clears throat> cool. That's the other thing I was hoping for. So that's, that's, that's a, a win in both directions. What do we got next? Gramble. That's a fairy type. Uh, nope. Hey, Rebel, you want to deal with this fairy type for me? Because Grandpa likes to be annoying in Elite Four. Ask me and Joy. We know way too well. Joy knows better than I do in this category, but still. Uh, wow. Oh, my God. You got Drought, too. Imagine if Drought, like, canceled no guard. That would be so crazy. Yeah, bye, Grandpa. You would have been a problem, so I'm glad we don't have to face you. Well, Lord. I'm staying in. We're faster. Oh, frick. That's another thing I gotta worry about. No, 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 I gotta swap. 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 Uh, no, 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 no. Um, oh. You know, we had drawn up. Terry, get out here. I didn't think about Mold Breaker. I did not think about Mold Breaker. Okay. Muddy water. It, it's in the rain. Or it's in the drought. Accuracy decrease. Nope. Okay, we're fine. Thunder. Hit. Nope. We gotta go with shockwaves. We kept it for that re We kept it for this reason. Oh. Literally two would have killed. Um... Dude, Terry, you're going lights out, buddy. I appreciate you. Keep it on, keep it on, keep it on, Terry. Okay, but Mole Breaker, I didn't think about that. I'm glad that my brain thought, or like when it popped up, I was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta run away from that. Kayo. Girl, what are you doing? Rebel. Rebel. This is gonna be the thing that has sturdy. 
This is 100% about the thing that has Sturdy that boxed us. 100% about to be that. But, and it's the ace too. Oh yeah, there's no way it's not going to be the stupid thing that has Sturdy. Nope, alright, we're good. Bye, Kyogre! Glad I don't have to deal with you! Miss Magius. We're fine. Destiny Bond does not get priority, so it's even more okay. This is so stupid. I wish I would have just been like, Oh, by the way, we're going to the next generation! But I have to do this for complete, for the sake of completeness. Semi-poor. Uh, semi-poor is a little bit too fast for my liking. Um, and I'm not going to risk Rebel. Nope. Not risking Rebel. No, no, no. We, are, we aren't doing that. But this is why we have Terry, guys. So ter ter Terry might literally die just for... Terry is going to live the Maximus life. Pointless until the Elite Four and dies. That's, that, that's Terry's life in a nutshell. We love you, Terry. And you know what? You, that you're going to live a Maximus journey, you know? Life's repeat. That's what happens. That's the point of life. Life and history repeats itself. And, uh, yeah, you're the amalgamation of Maximus. So, uh, if somebody asks if we got Maximus, yes, we did, but in a different form. Ah, <laughs> uh, Drasna, you can waste your forward swords. I really don't care. At the, I don't, I, I truly don't care. I still murder you, I still kill you, and move on. You, like, half this team is not even going to shove it. Like, Magic, not even going to be part of the Elite Four. Like, not at all. No, no, Magic already was part of the Elite Four. Magic literally was already. Uh, so, it's only Beegers that's not going to show up in the Elite Four, apparently. Okay, okay, Beegers. Rebel, no, nobody. Buddy, no. I am sorry, buddy, but no. Next, not next fight, but the fight after, buddy. And then we get to see what you have. We have, we... <laughs> you realize this title's going to be an Elite Four Evolution, right? Because we're going to have an Elite Four Evolution. Li quite literally. We're going to uh, take... Who in their right mind? Is that like a... Would that be like a Pokemon first? I, this is not a dumb question. That's a sincere question. Would that be like a Pokemon Let's Players first? To have an evolution in the Elite Four. Because it was better for me to use... It was better for me not to evolve it. I mean, it's funny because it's literally like the situation with Seedra. But... See, we just never were able to find uh, her evolution stone, uh, Sirens, evolutionary stone. So that, that like made a little bit more sense. In this case, it's not even that. It's just quite legitimately, we don't have what we need. Uh, or we have what we need because it's level-based evolution, but we can't because it's better and more secure for us to just do this. It's, that's, it's just, that is the silly thing to me. It is legit better for me to do this and secure my Generation 7. And y'all don't have much time to kill up the three Pokemon. So this actually ends up benefiting you guys. Because you know that things are going to be happening. You know what's happening. If you guys choose to watch, you choose to watch the whole thing. But you know what the whole thing... You, you have your expectations. You know what's going to happen. F you in particular. Because of course. You know what? Fine. You know what? You know what? Fine. If you really want to get beat by Beegers and have Beegers' appearance be now, okay, I keep it in particular. Does Beegers actually have Diamond Storm? I think it does. No, Beegers does not. But still, Beegers, get out here, buddy. You get to murder. We love a Beegers murder. A murder shows. Oh, you're using Sky? This, this move. I'm sorry, F you in particular. You're faster than Beegers. What the frick? Beegers? Whatever. You're still gonna kill this thing. Just apparently not in one shot, because of course. Um, I feel like you're gonna heal, though. So honestly, if you want to waste a forward store on F you in particular, and Beegers wants to do that, that's probably a better decision.
But I'm loving that they're sending out flying types because that that literally this is literally securing the security and blanket that my strat needed. But he up. Like the, the the legit security blanket I needed was for them to have flying types, and I'm getting what I needed, so this is great. Oh, you're straight shotting for the ace. That's nice. I appreciate that actually. I appreciate that a lot actually. That that again leave, leads to less worry. Volcanion. That's fine. The only again, this is the only reason this would not be fine is one of the bad abilities that I can't see. Glaceon back for vengeance, huh? Well, unfortunately for you, you are going to get destroyed by Troy. You don't get... You, Mr. Glaceon, don't get the satisfactory of dying easy. Red eyes. You will get satisfactory. You weren't a problem. Wesley Wesley deserved a little bit of uh, salt in the wound. <clears throat> Ditto is the final Pokemon. Wait, it's a transformless ditto. So it literally does not matter. Whatever, it's fine. It's a transformless ditto. I thought about that for a second and I was like, what am I doing? <sighs> Rebel. Rebel is just being... Rebel is literally being a rebel. Rebel, no. Wow. Again, I know that this is the dumb way for me to do this. And I fully admit to that. Day at the time. Wow. Welcome at last, dear trainer. As you know, I am the champion, Diantha. But you are the child of spoke into Unfortunate Avenue and Cormarine City, aren't you? This means you're also the one that dear Augustine said. Of course. How could I? Oh, I must look like a fool to not recognize you sooner. You and your Pokemon are all the ones who stopped Bright Shadow for us all. You. It seems uh, wrong of me to say this, but thank you. You save us all. I can't wait to see you and your Pokemon are capable of, and now that I know exactly what it is you've done already. Well, luckily, it's news to you because you get to see the newbie. You're laid off with the Kyogre too! Girl, slay! Uh, slay, girl! Keep it slaying! Uh, Bye! Have a great one! See you with the Fisher! Yes! Uh, have a great one, Kyogre! Yes, Queen! Uh, keep it up! Girl, keep throwing them at me! Uh, bear Tick? Oh my gosh, what a great Ice-type Pokemon. Honestly, <coughs> with Bear Tick, I'm actually... This is the Pokemon I'm going to elect not to kill. Honor Team. This is the one. 
I have a lot of memories with Bear Tick. In the past, what my de my biggest death in Nuzlocke had Bear Tick as his, the front runner. So, uh, I will not treat Bear Tick with such disrespect. Kyogre can be treated with any disrespect. I can give no cares about Kyogre. It sent us back so far and gave us so many problems that it can be treated with disrespect. Okay. Rapados. Rapados is a problem. Rebel. I like Rapados too, but like, it's such a problem that I don't even want to deal with it. Also, she has a Force Mega, by the way. I don't know what it is, but she has a Force one. Obama Snow. This is actually probably the Mega. This is probably the Mega. It is not. Frick! Try save my life again. Okay, fine. Uh, I didn't want to rely on you because it's the third week of the month and you become ditzy, but whatever. It's okay. Uh, I guess I have to. I don't get a choice. Hashtag missing right here. I can already feel it. No, wow, okay, good job. Good job. I just like the frick I have to actually try. Uh oh good. Yes, we are getting our legendary evolution that I was hoping for. Landorus. Oh look, it's more magic time. But that it, it, oh, okay. Are we gonna get Landorus T or I this time? It'd kinda be funny if we got a Lando I. No, another Lando T. It brave birded last time. I see it brave birding again. Why, why does well raise our attack? Oh, nice. We didn't even have to worry about it hitting me again. The mega that we are going to be facing is a mega Gardevoir. That's actually really fitting, because that's what she normally has. Um, Unfortunately, we're going to kill it in the dumb way. We're finishing this off in the dumb way. We don't have a steel type. We don't have a... Steel is really the only thing that really is the best case. Yeah, C78. Okay. Are you ready to go to a low Cause I'm ready to go to Alola. I'm ready to go to Alola. Yes. Uh, oh, we made it to Alola. We finally freaking did it. Yes. Uh, we got through. We didn't even use money. And we're gonna have an evolution. What the heck? Like honestly, who ever expected to have an evolution in the Elite Four in a Nuzlocke? Not me. I don't think anybody could ever, ever, ever anticipate us having an evolution in the Elite Four. The champion battle. Yes, that does mean we are going to be taking Excadrill if you guys decide to keep it. We are not tagging a little Drillbur. Sorry, but our little Drillbur is going to stay in this generation. We loved this man. He finally evolved. And unfortunately, we do not get to see his ability, I don't think. <sighs> Here we are. Sorry, I had to get a picture for Charizard. Because we love Charizard.
the love for you and your battle love for you and your Pokemon and they had it in battle well required them all Rabble! <sighs> Magic! Terry! Biggers! Our boy, Satan the Shiny! And Troy was our team. Honestly, you cannot tell me that this team was not fun. Stuff went downhill fast, okay? And we realized that we, we did randomize this in a stupid manner. We figured it out, though, and this team came through regardless. This team said, nope, I don't give a flying beep about that. I'm going to give you a breaker so you don't have to worry about anything. <sighs> We're going to Alola! Oh, my God. I just feel so good to say. It really does. It feels so good to say that we're going to Alola. Now, before I end this recording with my happy thoughts and my thought processes. What does Excadrill have as an ability? Does it matter? No, it doesn't. Because it's going to get a different ability anyway. But, if I would have been stupid and evolved, would I have been absolutely screwed? Honestly, probably. But, because the game started with a bang, okay? It really did. This Elite Four said, no, 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 I'm going to absolutely be annoying. And it's like, okay, Elite Four, whatever, fine, do your thing. <clears throat> Witch Drum dominating me and sending me to a wall, but it's fine. Because we got through it. And I would like to thank everybody for their support within the series. Joy, Mega, Jonas, Carp, Tarot, Troll, Shysol, Sniper for helping me out, kind of like calming me down and finding ways to actually like deal with me and put up with me. Because, you know, it's not easy to put up with me, let's be fair. Once I get nervous and freak out about literally everything in life, it, it makes sense. But... But we're here. And so much so, we're not fighting this fight, by the way. I hope you guys know that. What in the world is Rebel's ability? What in the absolute world would Rebel have had? He proved Excadrill! Holy shoot, dude! I would have had one less weakness. Wow, Excadrill would have been broken too. But I don't care. We got through it with our scummy strategy, but we got through it. I love you guys so much. I cannot wait to see you guys in Alola. Go ahead and choose the three mods you guys want to murder because we just need to kill three. Like, oh my God. You have not had an opportunity to kill less than three. Can we just talk about that for a second? We have not had an opportunity to kill less than three Pokemon in an Elite Four. That might all change next generation, but there's a next generation we're going to Alola. Love you guys all so very much. Woo!